So a lot of people often ask us how we fit two years worth of clothing in a backpack that's small enough to be carry on luggage. So we're gonna show you how we do it. First we start with our clothes. All of our clothes fits into each bag. We each have a bag for our clothes and we just stuff it all in like so. Cinch the top and when it's full, we can pull down on these straps to compress the clothing into a much tighter package. So this is all of Jill's clothing right here for the entire trip, except for what she's wearing, of course, right here in this bag. Stuff that to the bottom of the sack, because that's pretty heavy. We want that on the bottom. And then there's still some space left on the bottom. So we need to tighten that in there. We need to make the pack tight. So usually I will use my fleece or my jacket if I'm not wearing it. And I'll stuff that in and fill up the rest of the space along the bottom. So that the whole bottom is nice and tight and nothing's gonna move around. So what that then does, as you can kind of see, we've got a nice base here in the pack to work with. That's the clothing and that fleece. So next up, I generally take the computer. I like to slide that in the back where it's safe against my backpack, or safe against my back, excuse me, and against a flat surface. Now the other delicate object I have in this pack is the camera. This is our Zing case. It's the smallest case we could possibly find for an SLR camera. So I sit that, because I've got that nice firm base and that nice uh, computer in the back, I sit that there in the center of the pack where it's safe. But that also has to be supported. So next I take the sleeping bag. Notice it's not in a case, it's just out. And I stuff in the space around the camera. Again, to make sure that's not in there nice and tight and secure. So now this is where I'm up to in my pack. I've got all my clothes in there. We've got most of our electronics, and it's about half full. So the rest of the pack gets filled up with little odds and ends. Here I've got some dirty clothes. I've got a first aid kit. Here I've got a bag of cords and cables and battery chargers and extra batteries and things like that. Here I've got what we call our weekly toiletry case. Jill has the regular one in her pack. But this has things like the razor and weekly medicine and vitamins, things that we don't need every day. And so still, we've got a lot of space in there. So on the top, I'll put, this is actually our day pack backpack. This unfolds to be a little backpack that we can use when we're hiking around during the day. So we want that in the top in case we need it. This is a raincoat. So we want that on the top in case it starts to rain. And then I still have space here for if I need to put my boots or my chacos or whatever, the case, whatever I don't have on my feet in the backpack. So I can cinch that up, I still have tons of space. And then on the outside, I generally like to put my towel in case I get wet, my little neck pillow here for the plane or for the bus, whatever we might happen to be sleeping on that night because it's almost never a bed it seems. And so those are nice and easy to get to. And then when I'm all done, I can tighten all my straps, put the top on, and again, I still have some other odds and ends in the top, like a deck of cards, a cell phone, um, the ever important harmonica that I never get to practice. And then once that's all done, we take out the pack cover. And now this is another lightweight little thing. We just put it over the top. And then that basically keeps us safe from rain, and it also keeps us safe from pickpockets. Uh, so none of these pockets, zippers are then exposed to the outside, um, and also this is pretty waterproof as well. And the only last thing we have to do is take our water bottle, put that on, and that's how we do it.